In today's problem, we have to find the number of a square within a given matrix. And uh, what are a squares? A square means a squares of ones. So even just one cell is itself a square in it. Uh, and uh, if you take two cross two, it can be another square. If we have three cross three, that is another square. So largest possible square size would be three cross three, since uh, the number of rows is three here. So you have to return the number of such squares. So I have just uh, added a couple of examples here. So for example, this uh, one in yellow is a square of size one cross one. Another, this uh, blue square is also a square with two cross two. So let's see a concrete example of this. And uh, we had already seen one problem which uh, was very similar to this. And we will also be using uh, exact same methodology that we used there. So there the problem was uh, find the largest square within this matrix of all ones. So there we had to return just uh, what is the largest possible square. So if that would have been the problem, we would have returned 3 cross 3 or 9. But here we have to return the count of all the squares irrespective of what dimension they are. So this would be k cross k. That is k rows and k columns. So let's see one example. This is uh, a given matrix. It's a binary of 0 and 1. So first of all, what are the squares of size 1? So these are the squares of size 1. What is the count here? It's 10. Then uh, what are the squares of size 2? So we can take this part. Let me draw in this piece. So once we have already seen size 1 cross 1, we have 10. Now let's see 2 cross 2. So we have this one. Then we have this one. And similarly, this and this. So we have 4 squares of 2 cross 2. Then what is the next? Next would be 3 cross 3. So this is just 1 square of 3 cross 3. No other square of 3 cross 3. Can there be 4 cross 4? No, because it's limited by the minimum of width or height. So 3 cross 3 is 1. So what is the total? 14 plus 1, 15. So how we will solve this problem? So let's see. Uh, first of all, uh, whatever grid, uh, whatever cell is having 1, we will straight away add that count. Then how we will find the other shapes? Let's say we are here. Uh, let's say we are looking at some cell somewhere in the middle. Let's look at generic case. So we want to find how many squares are ending here. So how many squares can end here? One. If it's zero, then none of the squares will end here. We are trying to find this cell. So we want to find uh, how many squares are ending here. So if uh, 2 cross 2 above it is 1. So if this is the scenario and this is 1, this is given. If it's 0, we are not even calculating. We will um, put it 0 here since no square can end here. If it's 1, then we know that at least one square is ending here, which is this square itself. Then we look at these three cells, that is top, left, and top left. So we take 1 plus y1, 1 due to this one. So we know that there is at least one square ending here. Min of top, left, and top left. So whichever is minimum. Uh, let's say top left is 2. That means Let's draw it again. So we are here, this is 1, this is 2. That means 2 squares are ending here. And we will start from first row and we will solve everything for first row. For first row, what will be the square ending here? 0. Squares ending here, 1. Only this square. Here also 1. Here also 1. So first row we have solved. Let's say we are somewhere in the beginning and uh, we will put the count here which denote how many squares are ending here. So let's say here it's 2, here it's 3 
and here it's one. So here, if it's one, uh, here it's two. That means this block was originally one. So let's forget this two. This would be one in the original block. Its count is two. And two squares are ending here. That means what are those square? One cross one and two cross two. It's not possible that uh, a three cross three square is ending somewhere. So here it's one. So one will be this. And if this three cross three square ends here, that means its count will be three. There are three squares ending here because there is a two cross two also hidden here. So if the count here is two, that means these all four should be one. So we have expanded this top left. Similarly, we expand this. This three means in original matrix, it was one here and it was one here, here and here. So it was like this. And here it's one, that means here it has to be zero because if it was one, we can see that one square is this, other square would be this. So whatever is the minimum of these three, that will be added to it if it's one. Now let's come about how we will find these. So what the space we need? Uh, one simple thing is to keep a space of same size as, as the input array. So this will be a kind of copy of this original array. First row will be populated with this. And when we are here, we know that left is nothing. Top is zero. So if left is nothing, we will assume it zero. And here it's one. So it will be one. Top left is also zero. Top is also zero. Left is also zero. So one plus min of zeros. So it will be one. Now let's come here. Uh, top left is zero. So minimum is zero. So one plus zero is one. Now we come here. Top is one. Left is one. Top left is one. So one plus min of these three, which is one. So two. Similarly here it will be Again, two minimum is one. Here it will be zero since it's zero. Here it will be one. Then here it will be min of these is one. So two min of these three is two. So it will be three. And you can verify that three squares are ending here. One is this itself. One is this two cross two. And one is this big three cross three. Now we will uh, add all these. So we have 3, 2, 5, 1, 6, 6, 4, 10, 12, 12 plus 3, 15. So do we need this entire space? So we had also made optimization in the earlier problem that I said, finding the largest uh, square of ones. So we only need this left, top and top left. So we are solving this problem row wise. So first we have already solved this row, then we come to the next row and when we are solving this value and so we proceed from bottom top to down and left to right. So when we are let's say solving for this position here, we have already solved for a row above it and the cells before it. But this cell and after this, the rows are not solved. So uh, we can just keep track of one array, which is same as number of columns. So whenever we are solving here, we will see what is the value of at this column. So when we are solving column J, we will see what is the value in this column. So you can think of this as a solution of previous row before starting this row. So first, we are solving a row below it. We need the top. So we already have this. So after calculating this, we will replace this with this because this will no longer be required. It will be required only here in the very next cell, which will, it will act as top left. So we will have two more dummy variables, top left, only top left, one extra variable. 
and when we are calculating here we can use this left this is already there top is already there and after calculation we will replace this top and this top whatever it was earlier will act as top left for next value so we will just save this top in top left before updating this so let's write the code for this So first we will write it in C++, then uh, with little modification we can write it for Java and Python as well. So M is number of rows, matrix dot size, and we can add a boundary check as well if matrix is empty or not, but here it's uh, given that this is at least one. Similarly, a uh, number of columns is also at least one, so I'm not adding that base check. So uh, when do we need to solve if matrix IJ is 1? If matrix IJ is uh, 0, then we know that no square can end there. So straight away it will be 0. So if matrix IJ equal to 1, then we will solve something else counts J equal to 0 and top will be if i is 0 that is first row so for first row there is nothing on top of it so it will be 0 else it will be counts j so before updating this value we store it in a temporary variable left equal to if j is 0 that is for first column there is nothing to the left so left will be 0 else counts j minus 1 and this is sure to exist since we solve for column j only after solving previous column and then counts j equal to 1 plus min of top left and top left if you are having trouble in this solution, first try to solve it with uh, space m cross n space, then try to optimize that. You only need the previous row and not the rows uh, above that. So we are not storing that in order to save the space. Then result plus equal to counts j. So if two uh, squares are ending at this cell, we will never solve for this cell again. So we have to add that to the result, which is the total number of squares. And also we will update top left now. So whatever was the earlier top now becomes top left for next cell. But if it's the last cell, then there is last column in a row. So there is nothing to the right of it. So for next, it will come to the beginning. So there the top left should be zero. So if it's last uh, cell in a given row, then make the top left to zero, reset it. Else, whatever was the earlier top. And that's it. We will return the result.
and this works for this case. Let's try this second example. And the answer matches for both the test cases. So let's submit it. And the solution is accepted here. So we will do the same thing in Java. Okay, so min is not here. We have to use math.min and it does not accept tuple. So we will use it twice. So find the min of top and left and whatever is the result, find the min with respect to top left. So it works now, so let's submit. And the solution is accepted in Java as well. Finally, we will do it in Python 3. So it works as expected in Python. So let's submit. And the solution is accepted in Python as well. So if you are having trouble with understanding uh, this space optimized solution, you can look at uh, the previous question where I had first solved it with uh, the same space as the matrix size itself. And then we had optimized that to just use a uh, kind of one row of this matrix. The space is order n. So what is the time complexity here? Time complexity is uh, how many number of elements are there in the matrix. We look at each cell once and the space complexity is order n. Time complexity order mn, space complexity order n.